Namaste, welcome to Geeta's Kitchen. Today we are celebrating the Tamil festival of Adi Peruku, which falls on the 18th day of the Tamil month of Adi. On this day, we specially offer our prayers to nature in the form of water, the river Kaveri, and we pray to her because entire life is dependent on water. So we pray to her uh, to bless our lives with happiness overflowing just as the Kaveri overflows in all her glory. So for this, we prepare different types of variety rice and then uh, people who are near the river go there and offer it and take it. Those who are at home, of course, we can just mentally offer it and enjoy this uh, variety food. So today I plan to make Sakra Pongal but using millets. So we'll have a millet Sakra Pongal, coconut rice, lemon rice, curd rice and uh, have some uh, vadams that is uh, frayams too. Now all these can be done in a very easy way once you plan it. First I have uh, kept the rice for cooking. So the rice is uh, cooking and ready. Meanwhile we will do the other preparation. Here I have half a cup of unpolished little millet. I have soaked it for 4 hours and kept it ready. Uh, I have taken here 2 tablespoons of this uh, moong dal. First we will dry roast it. Just dry roast it till you get a good aroma. Then we can remove it, wash it and bring it back. Next heat about 2 teaspoons of ghee in a pan. Add some cashews and a few raisins too. Fry them till they are nice and golden. Then we can drain it out from the ghee and keep it aside. In the same ghee, I have taken about 2 tablespoons of uh, small pieces of coconut and we will fry this also and keep it aside. See the coconut pieces are well fried, remove them also, drain it out and keep it aside. Now we will put the washed dal back into the pan. And also this first millet. Just stir it a bit for a minute or so. Here I have water. I am adding that. We will allow it to cook till both the dal and the millet are well done. I have shifted the millet for the sakra pangal this side so that meanwhile we can save time and do the tadka for the coconut rice. So for that I like to use coconut oil, take about a teaspoon, add some mustard seeds, urad dal, chana dal, some cashew nuts, one dry red chilli, two green chillies, a few curry leaves, stir fry all of them together till the dals are a golden brown color. Also add in a pinch of hing. Next, add in about uh, 4 tablespoons of this fresh grated coconut. And lightly stir it for about a minute or so. And just adding a quarter teaspoon of uh, dry ginger powder. Some more I ran short of fresh ginger, so I am using this dry ginger powder today. If you have fresh ginger, you can uh, chop it into small pieces and put. Now remove the third cup into a bowl like this. 
just let's check our millet also it needs to cook a little more so we will do the tadka for the lemon rice also so here for this it's a good idea to use thill oil also known as sesame oil take about a spoon of oil add some mustard seeds is about 2 tablespoons of uh, peanuts next adding urad dal and chana dal fry all the dals well next add in about 2 uh, dry red chillies 1 green chilli and a few curry leaves this is some methi that is fenugreek powder i am just adding about quarter teaspoon it adds a good flavor to your lemon rice and also some dry ginger powder add a pinch of turmeric powder and hing that is the as a fortider switch this off so our tadka for the lemon rice is also ready meanwhile our millet and dal is also well cooked to this today i am adding jaggery powder if you don't have jaggery powder uh, dissolve the jaggery in little water and then filter it and add to this see it is now boiling well after adding the jaggery powder and it has reached the correct consistency now i'll switch it off and we can add this uh, raisins cashews and coconut which we had fried in ghee earlier and kept also add uh, a little bit of cardamom powder to the sakra pongal for flavor also just add another 2 teaspoons of ghee on top for added flavor and your millet sakra pongal is now ready see our rice is cooked and ready so i have just portioned out the rice for the coconut rice this is for the lemon rice take it out and uh, spread it in a large bowl so that it cools a little bit for the coconut rice you can add a teaspoon of coconut oil to the rice and for the lemon rice we'll add a teaspoon of thill oil for curd rice you take out the hot rice and when it is hot itself you mash it a little bit like this and keep it ready so for the curd rice you need rice which is little bit soft so you mash it when it is hot we have not added salt so we'll add salt for the coconut rice here mix it well and now we'll add this coconut rice seasoning or tadka which we prepared and kept ready our tasty aromatic coconut rice with the flavor of coconut oil is ready next similarly we'll mix for the lemon rice also we have spread out the rice allowed it to cool a little bit now we'll add this tadka which we have prepared for the lemon rice now mix this also well together now add the juice of a lemon 1 to 2 tablespoons uh, depending on the taste we have not added salt for this too so now i am adding the salt our lemon rice is also done and ready
to the curd rice we have mashed the hot rice now add some salt and next this is fresh homemade curd add as required and mix it well together now mix everything well together lovely creamy curd rice now for the seasoning for the curd rice again heat a teaspoon of oil add some mustard seeds urad dal one or two green chillies and some curry leaves switch it off next add a little bit of hing powder and today i am using ginger powder as i told you earlier if you have fresh ginger you can chop fresh ginger and add to your curd rice and pour it on top of the curd rice if you want to make your curd rice even more tasty you can add a teaspoon of butter to it it will make it nice and creamy then mix it well together our creamy curd rice is also now done and ready heat some oil now while fry some of these uh, vadams also some appalams we can fry finally we'll fry this uh, curd chillies it goes very well with this uh, curd rice fry them till they get a nice dark color only then it will be tasty and it will not become too spicy also all our preparations are ready millet sakra pongal tenga sadam or coconut rice elumchamala sadam or lemon rice पुलिंग सादम और टैमरिन राइस तैर सादम कर्ड राइस एंड वैरायटी ऑफ अपलाम एंड वडाम अलोंग विथ फ्राइड कर्ड चिल्लीस I always appreciate the wonderful way our ancestors decided on the menu for each festival. For example, for this Hadi Perikka, it would be celebrated on the banks of a river, and when you have to carry food from home, uh, a mixed or variety rice like this is very easy to prepare and uh, carry with you and serve others also. So enjoy this lovely variety rice with these crispy vadams and uh, appalam. and we'll meet again with another interesting video from geeta's kitchen thank you for watching the video